X Ripple advisor in a meeting to decide, will there be a digital dollar or not, even after the stablecoins crash? Why is the commission not confirming if in the video of Bill Hinman is actually Bill Hinman? Also, the Security and Exchange Commission says to Ripple, no, you cannot have the emails. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But first, we are giving away 25 XRP at the end of the month to one random subscriber to start on their XRP journey. All you need to do is to like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Welcome back XRP Army. Let's grow the XRP Lab community by pressing the like button and subscribing to this channel to stay updated at all times. Michael Barr, a former Ripple advisor who was nominated by President Joe Biden to run the Federal Reserve oversight of the financial sector in the United States, believes that cryptocurrency technology offers some potential for upside and also some significant risks. He made this statement during a hearing before the Senate on May 19. Michael Barr, who is currently the dean of the public policy arm of the University of Michigan Law School, was asked about his thoughts on current troubles in the cryptocurrency industry during his opening testimony at a Senate Banking Committee hearing. During his opening testimony, the subject of his time spent serving on the board of advisors at Ripple was not brought up. Concerning cryptocurrencies that people use as investments, he said that the first concern is the protection of investors, and that that actually is the duty of other agencies. The former senior official in the United States Department of the Treasury is being considered for the position of the next vice chairman for supervision at the Federal Reserve. If confirmed by the Senate, this person will play an important part in determining what the future holds for stablecoins. In addition to this, he will have a say in whether or not the Federal Reserve decides to create a digital dollar, a move that he believes should first have approval from Congress and the administration of Joe Biden before the Fed ever considers it. The confirmations of Jamie Lee Saraga and Mark Aida to join the Securities and Exchange Commission were also discussed during the hearing that took place on 19 May. Chairman Gary Gensler has been playing a significant part in the government response to the explosive growth of the cryptocurrency industry. Will they bring any positive changes to the Security and Exchange Commission? A Security and Exchange Commission lawyer named Aida, who has been delegated to work with the Republican staff of the committee, fielded a question regarding the agency recent accounting guidance. This guidance prompted Coinbase to issue a warning to its customers that their digital assets could be locked up in the event that the company filed for bankruptcy protection. Aida is currently working with the Republican staff of the committee. The nominee maintained that the bulletin issued by the Security and Exchange Commission was nothing more than a staff position that had not been approved by the commission. He brought up the issue that the addition of any new policy at the Security and Exchange Commission, that is virtually a regulation, has to go through the appropriate notice and comment procedure as well as a formal vote in order to be considered compliant with the law. He said, there has been a tremendous amount of concern raised, if confirmed, it is something that I will want to look much more into and have a discussion with the staff. According to a story that was published earlier by Coindesk, the custody dilemma has led the Biden administration to urge Congress to mandate that cryptocurrency exchanges keep their clients' cash separate from their own funds. Senator Elizabeth Warren questioned all three candidates on cryptocurrencies and investor safeguards, pointing to the market crash that occurred the previous week. She said, turns out, UST was not so stable. If you put $1,000 in Terra 10 days ago, you will get back $90. Even asset-backed stablecoins like Tether USDT briefly lost their peg, she said, before asking if stablecoins are providing auditing disclosures about their reserves. Aida said they are not. This only demonstrates that a cryptocurrency will fail if it does not serve any practical use. An XRP has a lot of potential use cases that are just waiting for the market to acknowledge them. In your opinion, what do you believe will happen next? Furthermore, the Securities and Exchange Commission was unwilling to confirm or deny whether or not a video that seems to mainly show Bill Hinman actually includes Bill Hinman. Bill Hinman is a former director of the Commission Division of Corporation Finance, and he has emerged as a pivotal figure in the ongoing legal battle between the Security and Exchange Commission and Ripple Labs over the alleged distribution of unregistered securities in the form of Ripple tokens. While Hinman was still employed by the Securities and Exchange Commission, he made the following statement at the 2018 Fintech Week conference, the sale of Ether does not constitute securities transactions. 
However, it seems as if the Security and Exchange Commission is dragging its feet in order to accept the obvious in the intention of delaying down the proceeding of the case. The legal team representing Ripple Labs, De Beauvoise and Plimpton, claims that the Security and Exchange Commission failed to respond in accordance with the applicable rules as to 53 requests for admission on important subjects where there is no real dispute. This is stated in a motion to compel requests for admission that was filed on May 18. Ripple is asking the court to force the Security and Exchange Commission to either give amended replies to the requests for admission or to admit the requests for admission itself. Concerning the admission requests that have been directed at Hillman, the Commission has not been successful in confirming a number of incidents that, on the surface, seem to be indisputable. During a recorded interview that took place at a public event, for instance, Hinman was clearly visible and audible the whole time. Yet, the Security and Exchange Commission has failed to confirm or deny whether or not the tape is real or whether or not the claims made by Hinman were truly made by him. The Securities and Exchange Commission has not only rejected a request that it cannot question the legitimacy of the video, but it also looks determined to not concede any information regarding the matter. After having a request to conceal records connected to Hinman refused late last month, it also filed a letter motion arguing that it had attorney-client privilege relating to internal details about Hinman 2018 speech. This was done in response to the denial of the request to shield materials. There have been a lot of people who have pointed out that the statements made by Hinman might end up being one of the determining elements that go against the Security and Exchange Commission case that the XRP coin would need to be classified as a security. Recent speculation has also claimed that Hinman may have been involved in a situation involving a conflict of interest when he was working for the Security and Exchange Commission, which may potentially have an impact on the way the case turns out. Still, Ripple has sought access to emails and other documents that it says might strengthen its case against the Security and Exchange Commission. However, the Commission is refusing to grant this demand. Ripple asserts that the records might give further insight on the Security and Exchange Commission thoughts on cryptocurrencies, and a federal court had ordered the regulators to produce drafts of the speech and accompanying communications. The Securities and Exchange Commission contended that the contacts were protected by attorney-client privilege in a letter that it sent to the court on May 18. The Security and Exchange Commission claimed that Hinman communicated with the Security and Exchange Commission employees to get their legal guidance in the letter. According to what the authorities have written, the issue of whether offers and sales of XRP constitute securities transactions is incontestably a legal matter. Ripple had maintained that Hinman, who had resigned from his position as the director of the Regulators Division of Corporate Finance in late 2020, was not a client of the Security and Exchange Commission attorneys for purposes of his outside personal activities, in a court brief that was submitted on May 13. In the letter that the regulators sent, they argued that Hinman gave the speech in his capacity as a senior official at the Security and Exchange Commission, and not in any personal capacity. As the lawsuit moves into its next phase, it is anticipated that the legal struggle will continue far beyond the year 2023. The deadline for submitting motions for summary judgment and attending hearings has been extended until December. At that point, the judge will either come to a decision or order a trial to proceed with the matter. Will the lawsuit end sooner? What do you think? Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.